Hey everybody, welcome to the Hey everybody, my name is Eunice and welcome to the adventures of Eunice and Joshua Wanza. For today's video, we're going to talk about updates on my EAD application. If you haven't watched the EAD videos or the previous uh, videos I made about the employment authorization document, then go ahead and click this playlist so you can watch it. My experience in applying for my EAD was a roller roller coaster. Sobrang mixed emotion, it's so hard to keep on waiting. Pero everything comes to end. So here is the timeline of my EAD application. June 9, na-receive nila ang aking application. And June 13, naka-receive ako ng mail with the instruction kung paano gumawa ng accounts sa USCIS website. By July 27, naka-receive ako ng notification via my online account sa USCIS for additional evidence. Nakalimutan ko kasi ilagay yung marriage contract namin and hindi nila tinanggap yung unang sinabmit ko na passport photo. And then by August 3, uh, sinend ko na sa kanila yung additional evidence along with the letter na nareceive ko din from them. And then September 9, na-approve na ang aking application and na-produce na rin ang aking EAD card. So right now is September 12, I am waiting for my EAD card to be delivered. So pag nag-apply kayo for the work authorization, first thing is you're going to mail it dun sa designated lockbox for your state. So, kung hindi nyo alam yung addresses noon, check nyo sa description. And then after that, makaka-receive kayo ng mail. It's a receipt saying na na-receive nila yung inyong application. And then, kasama din sa receipt na yon yung instructions kung papaano kayo gagawa ng online account sa USCIS. Once you have created the account, that's when you can see the updates about your case. So, hindi na siya through SMS. Uh, lahat, na siya, lahat ng updates na marireceive nyo ay sa pag-login nyo sa inyong USCIS account. So, maghihintay na lang ako siguro ng mga isang linggo, dalawa linggo, bago ko ma-receive yung aking EAD card. And then, some of the people has been asking kung kasabay na ba na marireceive yung SSN. The answer is no. And according to the USCIS website, it would take 5 business days for you to receive your SSN number or your SSN card. If it happens na hindi dumating yun, then you need to contact your SSA office near you uh, to follow up for your SSN. So this video would also tackle uh, the list of the job websites here in the US that you can check out, look for jobs. So first the place for you to look for job is number one, the easiest is Facebook groups. So may mga Filipino communities uh, sa iba't ibang state or sa iba't ibang city na pwede niyong pagsalihan and marami din doon ang nagpo-post ng mga job posting. And then the second one is yung ginagamit ko, ZipRecruiter and Indeed.com. I also use my LinkedIn account, Glassdoor, and finding some local job fairs in this community um, to see what are the job openings available. You can also do that. So, gumagawa lang ako ng profile doon and then nakaka-receive ako ng mga job match and then saka ako nag apply sa aking desired position. Sana nakatulong yung mga videos ko sa inyo and kung gusto nyo makasama sa community ng mga J2 dependents dito sa US, I am inviting you to join our Facebook group J2, Filipino J2 Dependents in the US. Doon nagkakaroon tayo ng mga uh, palitan ng conversation, ng mga tips, uh, para rin sa mga J2 na nasa Pilipinas pa makakatulong yung grupo na yun sa inyo para hindi lang insights ko yung mapapakinggan nyo, pero insights din ng ibang mga J2 dependents na nakarating na dito sa US. Ayon, make sure to like this video, uh, leave an encouragement if you have been encouraged, and if you have um, find value in the videos that I am creating. Soon after, matatapos na rin lahat ng mga videos ko for J2, and Possibly lifestyle vlog na yung mga ilalabas ko. Pero I hope that you keep subscribing in this channel and keep on supporting me in this journey. Hindi naman talaga ako vlogger. Pero I really love sharing information and paying it 
paying it forward to uh, fellow Filipinos who wanted to go here in the US as J2 dependents. So yun lang, maraming salamat sa pagtangkilik ng video na to, uh, sa pag-subscribe sa channel ko. I pray that one day you will come here and you know be re be reunited with your loved one, with your husband or with your wife or with your children. So yun lang, maraming salamat. Ako ulit si Eunice and you're watching The Adventures of Eunice and Joshua Wanza. Bye!